Hi guys, Brooke Rogers here with the Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm going to be doing a Minnie Mouse tutorial for you using a new face paint brand that I got and it's called Micum and it comes in these little pots like this. They unscrew and screw together. This is the red I'm going to use today. The lid comes off, you see, that's the color. And uh, it's pretty deep of a pot even though it's tiny and I like that they screw together like this. It's kind of cool. Uh, and this is all of them, how they screw together and you can put them in your kit pretty compact and and cute but i hope you guys enjoy the design let's get to it first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get that red by micum and i'm gonna load it up on my three-fourth angled flat brush i'm gonna go over the eyes for the dress of mini and then we're gonna go right over the nose for the bodice and create that little shape it's like an upside down triangle I decided to put some glitter, so I have this cute little eyeshadow brush that I got off Amazon. I'm putting it over the eyes and in the middle. I got a little bit that came down onto my face, so I'm going to brush that away really quick with that brush too. Do you guys know Minnie's favorite thing to wear? A mini skirt. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, I'm going to load up on my silver brush a flesh tone skin paint. I'm going to go two strokes down and then one from each direction in a little dot for her neck and that makes the shape of Minnie's face. Next it's time to make Minnie Bowtastic. We're going to use this pink and white color to make the little bow right above her forehead and also under each side of the dress. I got this pink and white color from a split cake called Oxford and I'm going to show it to you. It's really pretty and I'm also going to use that same color for the arm cuffs. Next, I'm going to go in with the white by Micum, and I'm going to load it up on my sponge, and I'm going to use my stencils to do the polka dots for Minnie Mouse's dress. This is a quick way to get some dots on, and later on I'll show you the other way that I usually do it as well. These Micum paints are really good with stencils. You don't get the drips, it's very creamy, and when you use it with a stencil, it's pretty opaque without you even have to work the sponge up a whole lot into the paint like some other paints do. Next, I'm gonna go in with that white, and I'm gonna do some teardrops and line work for the sides of the skirt. And you can have fun with this, making the skirt flow and twirl, and I'm also using it for Minnie's gloves. I'm eyeballing where to put them, and you see how I laid the paintbrush down to get those fingers. It's pretty easy to do. Finish and closing the space of Minnie's dress with as many teardrops as you like. Just kind of look at it and see how it flows. Whatever looks nice. You can bring down some swirls onto the cheeks as well. And don't forget to use that white also for Minnie's eyes. Now what I'm going to do is load up that black paint by Micum on my detailed brush. This is a number two round cornell and I'm going to put the details on the outside of Minnie's face, her ears, the outside of the dress, and her eyes and nose, etc. At first when I was working with this paint I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get really fine lines like I'm used to but I realized that this paint's really creamy so you have to add a little bit of water and then also if you want super skinny fine lines then you're going to use a detailed brush. So after I figured that out it was easy from there. And another thing about this red and black so far that I have been working with is that it washes off pretty easy which isn't the case with some of the other black paints and even some of the reds and pinks. I have got zero staining from this paint brand so far. So if you find that you're running short on time, then I would skip the outlines on the gloves for sure, and maybe some of the outlines on the bottom of the dress. But right now I have all the time in the world, so I'm going to go ahead and do all the details. If you find that you have more time because it's say the birthday girl or a special face paint and you're going to take more time to do more detail, you can have even more fun with this design. You could add a little cupcake in Minnie Mouse's hand. You can put a rainbow behind her. You can put a princess wand in her hand. Um, make this design unique to the person. Whatever they're interested in, you can add in little details as well. So I'm just finishing the outline on the other side of the dress. And now I'm going to do Minnie's hand. And I paid attention to the ways that the princess hold their dress. So pinkies up for Minnie. Outline our little bow over here on this side. So she's super bowtastic. Put 
forgot the eyelashes. You know, when you forget the eyelashes, the little girls always tell you you forgot the eyelashes. So what I did here was I wanted to show you guys how I do the ribbons hanging down, but my video got deleted. So I'm just going to show you the other way that I also can do the polka dots. So I'm taking this white paint by Micam and I'm adding the bows and I'm also going to add some details and polka dots to Minnie's dress. Like I said, if you don't have time, then skip these steps altogether. But since I do, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Make sure you've loaded up lots of white paint on your brush so that you can get some white dots on there that are fairly even. Adding my bow on the other side and then dragging the ribbons down. These don't have to be perfect because you're going to go back over those with the outline. I found that I can get away with having a little bit of sloppy line work if I know I'm going to go back with another color and do my details, so white or black or even another shade. We're going to continue to add the polka dots all over her skirt. That or you can use that polka dotted stencil that I showed you earlier, whichever you prefer. And we're going to add the outline of this bow making mini bowtastic. So this is pretty much the design. I wanted to put it on his lipstick so we could see what the paint feels like on the lips. And it was really creamy so it did as I expected. It felt really nice. It didn't feel like it was cracking and it went on with full coverage without going over it several times.